Hello, this is Donna Lewis again, and I'm here to talk to you about what to do if you find a baby squirrel or an adult injured squirrel in your yard or when you're out and about in a park or in town or anywhere. So we have, in Ohio, we have four different types of squirrels. We have the red squirrel, okay, which is pretty small and a reddish color. Of course, this is stuffed animal, so, you know, it doesn't look exactly like it, but we have the red squirrel, fox squirrel, which I don't have a good stuffed animal of that. And we also have the gray squirrel. So the fox squirrel is a little bit bigger than a gray squirrel. It would be probably more this size or a little larger with a reddish tint to it, reddish brown fur. And a lot of times you'll see them near the roads. You also see them in more of a deep wooded area. George Rogers Clark Park has them, places like that. Um, gray squirrels are everywhere, so you'll see them everywhere. And then we also have the flying squirrel. So the flying squirrel, okay, of course, doesn't actually fly. It glides from tree to tree. And it, um, you know, it doesn't have wings like a bat. Bat is the only flying mammal. But a flying squirrel is also nocturnal. So whereas your gray squirrel is um, out during the day, okay, a diurnal animal, this is a nocturnal animal. And a lot of times they'll be seen around pine trees, areas like that and you'll see them at night. So these aren't found as often. So the most common squirrel found is the baby gray squirrel. So if you see them out in the yard, the first thing to note, is there adult squirrels nearby? Are there any adult squirrels nearby that could be the mother, okay? Is this squirrel acting normal? Is it just looking for food, you know, just foraging around, walking normal? You've seen squirrels walk around, so you can kind of tell, is this normal? Um, is there a mom nearby? So when baby squirrels are about this size, they're still not big enough to be on their own. So baby squirrel is um, opens their eyes about four weeks old, is weaned about six weeks old, and then leaves the nest at about 10 weeks old. So 10 weeks or so, it's going to leave mom. It's going to be bigger. So if you don't see any squirrels nearby and you've left it alone for a while, observed it from a distance, it could need help. Okay, so that might be a squirrel that needs some assistance or it's walking right up to you. That's not normal, okay, for a squirrel to do. So it might need assistance. Um, what if you find a baby squirrel that doesn't even have fur like this? So you might want to just look up in the trees, see if you see a nest. Um, if it um, doesn't have any fur, or its eyes are closed, you know, anything like that, you'll want to put it up maybe in a hanging basket with a soft cloth. Something good to use is like a fleece is good to use. This is an old fleece scarf. So maybe a soft cloth in a basket, okay, in a hanging basket with the squirrel in there, okay. Put wire, you know, kind of nigh tie it up into the tree, maybe nearby where the nest is, where you think the nest is. So you're looking for a dray, which is a kind of a cluster of leaves. That's what it looks like, and that could be their nest, or sometimes it's a hole in the tree. So those are the things you want to look for as a nest. So put that baby up there and see if you see any activity. You'll wanna put something warm in there, like a warmed rice pack. Um, sometimes you can put a covered water bottle in there too, a warmed water bottle, but the thing is you have to check that water bottle kind of often because it cools down pretty fast. So something warm with the baby if it doesn't have any fur. And if there is something wrong with it, if it looks dehydrated, you've maybe pinched the skin, okay, and it didn't come back, it took less, like three seconds or more to come back, they're dehydrated, or you don't know how to get that baby to the nest. Let's say it's not in a good location, it's right in town, and you don't know where to put the baby so mom can get it, or you've waited a couple hours and no mom has come back. So Obviously, the best case scenario for this baby is to be with mom, always. It's always best for the mama squirrel to take care of the baby squirrel. So we always wanna leave mom to it if possible. But if there's circumstances that in baby's injured, can't get back with mom, um, you know, it's really young, it doesn't look good. Um, so you can then put it in a container, like a box, okay, with maybe a fleece. All right, something warm and call it like the rice pack. So make it all cozy in here, okay? So you've got your little baby in here all cuddled in there in the box. All right, make sure the box is gonna stay closed like a shoe box. And then call your local wildlife rehabilitation center. So 
The best place around here to call is Bruckner Nature Center, located in Troy, Ohio. You can also call the Ohio Wildlife Rehabilitators Association if you're somewhere else and need to find someone in Ohio. The Ohio Wildlife Center is a good resource. Wild Again has some good resources online. And if you want to, you can give us a call and we can actually just help you out. We can't, you know, we do not rehabilitate animals at the Clark County Park District, but we can certainly help you out or direct you to exactly the right place to call. So also another thing, don't confuse baby, you know, the squirrels with the chipmunks. So this is another thing you might see outside. So it's a very similar situation with the chipmunks. They do leave mom a lot quicker. They're on their own in like a flash, but when they're tiny and their eyes are closed and um, they might still have fur, but their eyes aren't open yet, you'll want to um, try to get them back with mom and she's going to be underground somewhere if she doesn't come back to get it after you've put it in a little box, um, maybe warmed it up um, in a couple hours, then you'll wanna call someone. So always give the place a call first before you take the animal in because especially right now when businesses aren't open like normal, um, <laughs> You'll want to give them a call to make sure someone's there. And you also want to give them a call so that Bruckner or whoever it is can get things ready for the animal to come. Plus, you may call and they may say, oh, it's okay, it's fine, leave it be. Or this is what you do to get it back with mom. Maybe you you know, got really nervous and you wanted to get it safe really quickly. Sometimes we just don't give mom enough, chance, enough time to come back. So that's what you can do to help the baby squirrels and the adult squirrels in your yard. And I know they can be annoying sometimes getting into your bird feeders, but squirrels are really important to the environment by planting a lot of seeds out there that grow into trees out in our environment. So squirrels are very important. They're also a food source for some animals and they're very fun to watch. So instead of trying to fight them all the time, maybe give them some corn to eat outside with your feeders so they won't get into your feeders so much and um, enjoy, just enjoy watching them. So thanks a lot for this segment of what to do if you find a wild animal. Thank you so much, until next time, have a great day.